here getting ready for first practice for the heavy guys. <clears throat> this is day two of SSKC. Day one was hectic, crazy, wild. Um, I did an engine swap today. Hopefully my problems with the gremlin the motor is over. Uh, Chris is doing that on purpose. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we get a better day going. Mia went P3 in practice this morning, but his transponder didn't pick up, so hopefully he got that sorted out. Uh, Junior's not racing today. Uh, may his ride rest in peace. So, and then everybody else, we're just gonna do the best we can, and then the Margate tent. James and Jed, the dynamic duo. Oh God, I gotta find some speed. They're too fast. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Catch you guys on track. Out here for practice. I did a motor swap, but the cart was just not handling right. I did a change and it didn't work. I just made the front end really wide and she got stuck to ground. Then I don't know what Gabe was doing. He, like, looked back, slowed down, and I was full throttle coming through, baby. Oh man, I did not mean to hit him that hard for sure, but I did not expect him to be going that slow either. I don't know what he was doing. He was, uh, we got into it after the pit. So if you guys think we're all fine and dandy, yeah, we got into it. So I was running slow and uh, he got by me and I was just practicing. What I was really practicing was how to get past. All right. That was my whole goal for the first warm up session. And to see if it was the engine issue or something in the fuel line issue. We found out it's the engine issue. And I'll let you know now, we didn't find out until the very end of the day. That is most likely a kill switch issue. Which we 99% sure the kill switch is bad. Because the motor just cuts out from the time to time. You know how you rev it up, hold it down. It just does that. It just... Bah, and it goes... Oh, oh. So the motor's strong. It's just wanting to die out so we think it's a kill switch issue so like i said earlier you know this practice session we're just learning how to get past there goes barry flying by me into turn one uh, i just wanted to make sure i could get uh, uh get past safely uh without getting into any incidents so yeah and you know the change i tried making the front end wider uh, I mean, I, I saw other people running and it was working for them, but, you know, every cart's different and you got to set up the cart for yourself. And, you know, I get into these habits of seeing what other people are running, like the fast guys. And I'm like, well, you know, that setup should work for me. And it doesn't. You know, every chassis is different. As long as you set up the chassis for yourself, you're good. Every chassis can win. You know, Marie, OTK, every chassis can win. You know, TB just wins 90% of the time. We don't mess with it, unlike me. I like to mess with it. So... You see, I let Ron pass me. You know, I was just letting everybody by, you know. <laughs> oh, man, it's just crazy. Uh, the sticker on the front of the cart now is uh, Perkins Racing. This weekend we'll have another sticker as well. Uh, if you don't know them, check them out. Uh, driver Coaching, they're the Margay dealers. And for Florida, so if you want a Margay at a good price, go check them out. There goes Curtis by me as well. You know, in the end, P14. That it was rough for sure it was freaking rough so qualifying i went back to my motor i went back to my setup i went back to my settings i went back to what i knew was good and also i decided to pass game instead of spin them out and then the uh cart tech bro decided to spin out warming up his tires you know he he was trying to really get heat built up into them that's what it was uh i was slowing down for gabe uh, i was going to try to work with him uh, get a good run with him and then uh, we took off going uh, wrong wrong got Roy got by me that time and uh, he was uh, pretty quick as well you know all these local guys are fast my biggest issue and it stunk because it was the last sector and that last sector sets you up for the straightaway so here we go I did my changes cart was handling great uh, it was coming alive except the motors kept cutting out but I, I mean, it wasn't enough for me to be like, okay, I, I might have been losing like two or three tenths, but it, was, it, it wasn't enough for me to be 
that upset with it. You know, I wasn't shutting off in the middle corners like it was on the slow speed section. So it was just every high speed right hander you just want to die for some reason. And we didn't know until the end of the day it was a kill switch. So right here, to the right to the left switchback, it was the cart was just bogging down and that was just set up for me. So I had to keep working on it. But P5 for qualifying, much better, picked up four tenths. So we didn't have a recap after practice because I was swapping motors again. It's not the motors, just the card. Well, my motor stopped cutting out, but I think we figured out the issue. We safety wired the inside of this pickup tube. Uh, Tom, Rocco's dad, told us about safety wiring the inside of this pickup tube, both ends, because when we were giving it gas, we saw bubbles in my airline. So I, hopefully that's fixed. Now we don't see any more bubbles. Um, the old qualified P10 uh, got stuck in the back because this transponder wasn't working and didn't get a good lap in. I qualified P6 or P5 with Gabe and then Heath is P7. Uh, car's just tight. So gotta do some things to loosen it up. I'm gonna drop the front of the chassis, take the grip out. I'm gonna flip my tires, like the rim. I'm just gonna flip them inward and bring my front in even more. Try and narrow the front end of the car up. Uh, the only changes I've made from yesterday, I put an H2 axle, which should free the car up, but it's just tight. And I might go up a gear, because weighing at 400 pounds across the scale, I can't pull. I can't pull the gear everybody else is running. And if I get beat down the straight, I get beat down the straight away. But I gotta do something, because right now nothing's working. Last weekend I was running fine, faster than I was this weekend, so. Yeah, I love racing. <laughs> oh man, these guys are putting a freaking whooping on me. So, and there's Junior's chassis. Ouch. All right, starting P5, I decided to add a tooth. I couldn't run the same gear as everybody else. Um, I was coming off the scales just north of 400 pounds. That's on me. I got to work on that. <laughs> I might want to lower the weights in the gym. But I'll get it under control by next SSKC. Uh, I've already changed the beer diet, so it's gone down. Just straight Michelob Ultra now. Uh, <laughs> we got a good start, good race. Uh, you know Rubens was hurt, so Juan stepped in, uh, drove his cart. Juan was really quick, really fast. Uh, for a little guy, they really packed on some weight on that cart to get him up to weight. And then uh, Barry was real quick as well. And then Phil, man, Phil was just gone. I mean, he was able to make his cart work. Uh, like I said earlier, crazy thing was Phil and Barry on OTKs, two completely different setups. So whatever works for the per uh, you doesn't work for the other person. It was crazy when I walked up to a car since how different they were. Uh, it was insane, but it was cool to see as well. Uh, got a good start and really just stayed there like I wasn't able to make any progress I know I was gonna be quicker in the tight section. I know I was gonna give up a lot of stuff in the straightaway But I rather give up some on the straight than give up too much on the tight um, Like I think once I hit terminal velocity just because I'm only doing say 52 miles an hour 53 54 whatever I was uh, I was reaching that terminal velocity quicker so the people behind me were able to catch me They just weren't able to pass me because by the time they caught me it was towards the very end of the straightaway uh, But right here. I am gonna get past I wave Ron by me again Ron was just quicker and I was holding him up um, He was able to just pull out some crazy fast laps towards the end and he was able to get his cart to work he would lose the rear in some of the high speed sections, so that's what kept me close. But he was able to make his cart work for sure. So we got some work to do. Uh, it, it is it is hard, but we are going to keep working on it. Uh, we were getting quicker and faster towards the end of the race. Uh, Heath had a bad start, ended up way in the back. He just did not have that good of a run, uh, even though he did an amazing job the day before. As you can see, Ron was catching um Barry flying up on Barry and then Juan had caught Phil and passed Phil so it was just a crazy battle watching it I was basically quick enough to hang with the lead pack but not quick enough to make any 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 moves so it was a hot day warm day cart handled great 
once I got some of the handle down, just had to get some of the bite out of it. But I was really happy with P5. I was looking forward to the finals. I thought I could do some damage. Shit, it got loud. Three finals coming up. Oh no. Yeah. It's a finals. We just had a three final. Um, we're gonna see what happens. We go for this P8. I finish P5. We're gonna go up from here. So it's cool that she's coming to a new track. Uh, love to see it. Now we gotta run over and see if we can catch Miguel's start. So hopefully it's away clean. Being mid-pack is really, really hard to race. Because uh, people don't want to work with anybody and it's just really hard to get through the pack. So hopefully we get some good love. So my prayer was answered. Rain came down. Now half the track was dry, half the track was wet. There was a gamble. Barry and Ron decided to go out on slicks and some of the guys in the back. Uh, Phil, Juan, myself, and a couple of the front runners, we decided to switch over the reins. It looks like a lot of wet, but most of the wetness was turn one, two, front stretch. By the end of the race, the track was dry. Now, I was not fortunate enough to get that very far in the race. Uh, took right off. I was extremely happy. I knew I was going to make some damage, and bam, motor just started shutting off. Right now, the motor's dying. The motor's dead. Kept backfiring, kept backfiring, and did not want to do anything. And nothing. Like, it was such it was such heartbreaking moment right here. The motor just kept cutting out, and I was thinking to myself, okay, just clear up, clear up. At this point in time, I knew it was an electrical issue. <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind the motor has an electrical problem. Yep, because there goes everybody. And good thing in the morning session, I practiced people passing me. Uh, but it, did, it didn't work out. It was just not my weekend, guys. Um, congratulations to everybody that ran front, up front. Great. Uh, Matt, sorry I forgot your name at the end of the video, but I'm going to give you a shout out now. You did an amazing job in the wet weather. Uh, Chris, you did a great job in the rain as well. Good drive to the field. Perkins, awesome man. Uh, and here, you know... We love our teammates so much that even on track, we want to try to say hi. And Senior just wanted to give me a love tap and say I love you. So he runs into the back of me. The funny thing is, his air filter flew and landed on my lap. But thanks, everybody. Thanks, SSKC. Still had a blast. We'll be back stronger than ever. Catch you guys on track on the next one. So the day's over. I, I was going to win that race. All right. The heavens opened up, it rained, with you rain tires on, I was I was gonna win the race. But didn't go that far. But no, I was gonna win. <laughs> but the motor decided to say, not today. I just like giving shit on your head, Jesus, I need help. We'll see you guys so we'll see what happens. Cart was a monster in the rain. You guys know I'm a monster in the rain. I can't remember the last time I ever lost in the rain. I feel like crying. <laughs> I had fun. I got to hung out with the Perkins. I got to see Manny. I haven't seen the year. Uh, Joey came out. Uh, got to hang out with my buddies Farshad, Heath. Congratulations to Heath yesterday. Um, you know, half, half of this is just hanging out with friends and, you know, me and new friends. Congratulations to Zach on his P2 and a tag. Um, you know, Barry. I know if I forgot your name, no, I'm sorry, but... Thanks to all subscribers. Thanks to everybody watching. I appreciate this. Really do. Uh, Miguel took off already. So did Gabe. Uh, I'm going to hook up the trailer to get to Daytona. I'm going to have a safe trip back. And then, um, you know, got to see my buddies from Risa in Miami. So, super happy. Can't, can't be happier. Um, you know, it's a big community, big family. Uh, congratulations to Phil on the win. Um, congratulations. Oh God, I can't remember his name. The one that finished second, Kart Tech, mm, number 20, Frick. He drove an amazing race in the rain. 
and when the truck started drying out, it even got faster. So, you know, everybody, thank you for everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. And remember, it doesn't matter what cart you get, just get a cart and come out to a track. You're not gonna regret it, trust me. Well, you will regret it when you're broke. <laughs> All right, later, guys.